Hey guys, Bob here with Funknug. Uh, today I'm going to go over how to set up your uh, remote desktop on Cubase. Uh, I am on Cubase 6. I'm a little bit old school. I'm a little bit behind, but I will be upgrading soon. But this should work on any Cubase. Let's go ahead and pull the keyboard out here. And let me go in and open Cubase. Now, the thing is, um, there are, depending on what you're using, um, if you're using Logic or Pro Tools, um, now you're going to come over here to set up. We're going to go, let's go over to the remote. Now in Logic um, or Pro Tools, HUI might work better, but what I found out is that in Cubase, the Mackie control works best, and uh, I run it, yeah, I burped. I, ran, I run it through the card MIDI. I would recommend using this. It's much more stable, and it brings up a nice display on your control surface. So uh, I have some some let's do my just regular template cheesecake money this is my practice template okay so we're in Cubase what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to devices and we're gonna go to device setup now I've already done this but if you haven't done this go ahead and go to add and we're gonna go to whether what you're using in Cubase um, if I'm using a Mac a Mac Pro uh, 2011 but I clicked right here, this um, Mackie control right here. I didn't try this baby HUI. I just tried the this HUI, and it was giving me some funky results where if I was, let's say I selected inputs one and two on here, and I would to, was to move them, well, they wouldn't move on the screen. But if I moved it on the screen, it would move the knob down here. But if I was over here in my aux, aux channels for my USB and I move that knob it would act like this was channel one and it would move it and my volume would go get blasted on from my computer so I was having problems there and it was really iffy I wasn't really comfortable with it so I went ahead and I did the Mackie control now once you do that you just go in here and you select and you're in and out which is your DM32 for your Midas and um, if you want auto select I just want auto select is if you touch it It'll select it. It just touch select. Um, I don't like it. I accidentally bump it, and it so it changes the channel I'm on. So I turn it off. Uh, smart switch delay. I believe what this is, is is the delay on after you touch it, how long it goes to the computer. I'll just leave that off. So if you like that, you can leave that on. Hit OK, and your thing should. Sometimes it moves or whatever, and it's good to go. So now what we're gonna do? We're gonna come over here. We're gonna hit this remote. And you see when I hit that remote, let's see, I got my uh, screen set up in a weird way. Let me go ahead and turn that brightness down for you guys so we can see it on the, there we go. Let me turn the brightness down so you can see it on the screen. There we go, much better. Okay, so. We're gonna come over here and watch what happens when I hit this remote. All of a sudden I have, what's this, kick? Yeah, oh, okay, so everything's labeled as it is on the screen. And let's see, everything's turned up to zero. Let's, let's check it out, let me move my fader. Look at that sucker go, beautiful, beautiful.